All right, <clears throat> let's look at uh, this problem. It's a steady flow device. It is a capillary tube. All right, so refrigerant 134A enters a capillary tube or refrigerator as saturated liquid at 0.8 MPa and is throttled to a pressure of 0.12 MPa. Determine the quality of the refrigerant at the final state and the temperature drop across uh, temperature drop uh, during this process. So we've got some uh, capillary tube, some valve. Uh, it's entering here, it's exiting here, so it's refrigerant 134A. It enters as a saturated liquid. Uh, it enters at 0.8 MPa, uh, and then it, it exits, it's throttled to 0.12 MPa. Determine the quality of the refrigerant at the final state and the temperature drop um, during this process. All right, well, let's see. Th this is two good pieces of information. I bet for refrigerant 134A, we can go to its tables, its property tables, uh, and find um, any other properties we might want to find. What properties might we want to find? Uh, well, it's asked for the temperature drop, so we might want to find the temperature. For a saturated liquid, whether it's saturated liquid or saturated mixture or saturated vapor, it, it's all at this T-sat. Uh, so I am refrigerant 134A, SI units, I am in table uh, A- 12. That's the pressure table for refrigerant. The temperature associated with that pressure uh, is 31.31 degrees C. Now, what other piece of information might we want to find for the inlet conditions? Well, you've got to know for a capillary tube or a throttling valve, it is constant enthalpy. The enthalpy does not change. The H1 equals the H2. The H inlet equals the H uh, outlet. So let's find the H. All right, well, it's a saturated liquid. So the HF at 0.8 MPa. Go ahead and flip through your uh, property tables. Make sure you can do this. Find these values. This is what I've got. 95.48 kilojoules per kilogram. And so that tells me that this outlet is also, now it may not be a saturated liquid, but its H is also one, uh, uh, 95, 95.48, all right? This is also 95.48. This is kind of the link, the, 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 the connecting link that gives us enough information. Now I have two pieces of information for state two. All right, so you gotta know that a capillary tube or throttling valve, enthalpy is constant. So calculate, somehow find the enthalpy of the inlet and then carry that. That is also the enthalpy of the exit. <clears throat> All right, so with these two pieces of information, Knowing that the pressure is at uh, 0.12 uh, MPa, um, and looking at this H value, so I'm not sure actually what table to go to because I'm not sure if it's superheated, if it's liquid, if it's a mixture. Um, first, I'm going to go to the saturated table. Uh, again, table, table. A12. So taking these two pieces of information right here to table A12, I would find that this H value is in the table. It's under the dome. It's in between HF and HG uh, for 0.12 MPa. So I look for 0.12 MPa. I look at the HF value. I look at the HG value. This value of 95.48 is in between the two, and it kind of gives you a hint. You're going to have to find the quality. All right, so let's find the quality. I know that H, in order to find quality, H 
is HF plus XHFG. And so I know the H that I have, 95.48. I know the HF for this 0.12 MPA. I know the HFG for that 0.12 MPA. I can find the quality. So this is what I've got. 95.48 is equal to 22.47 from the table plus, also from the table 214.52, and I would get a quality of 0.34. So that was uh, what it asked for, the quality. It also asked the temperature drop. Now I knew that this temperature was 31.31 because it's a, it's a saturated temperature. Whether it's a mixture or, you know, it's changing from liquid, saturated liquid to saturated vapor, it's at that uh, T-sat. Now, this also is a mixture, and so it is also at its T-sat, T-sat for its pressure, 0.12 MPA. So the T-sat for 0.12 MPA, the T is... Okay, so it says negative 22.32 degrees C. So that is, is its exit, exit temperature. So the delta T, the T outlet minus the T inlet, would be negative 22.32 minus 31.31. All right. Delta T would be negative 53.63 degrees C. Okay, so for a capillary tube, for a throttling valve type problem, you've got to know that it's constant enthalpy, and that allows you to take the enthalpy that you know or that you found for, state, uh, for the inlet and say, well, that's the same enthalpy for the outlet. And so take that enthalpy and then fill in any other properties, any other things that you might want to find for the outlet. Get this quality for X, get this uh, delta T for the change in temperature.